righty, welcome back. Let's get things rolling out there. On this Thursday morning, we have advisories posted because of the snow that will be moving in. What you see here in purple is a winter weather advisory that's up until 1 p.m. Friday. It actually kicks in at around 1 a.m. early Friday morning as the snow moves in. It could cause a few travel difficulties moving forward as well, especially for that Friday morning commute. For now, just a few clouds are developing out there. We're seeing a few returns of snow in Minnesota and Iowa. It's trying to track off to the east. However, though, high pressure is preventing that from happening. So let's zoom these out and kind of explain why that's happening. So we have high pressure right about in here. High pressure is really known for causing dry air to really move in. And it's helping to kind of erode some of the precipitation when tracking further off towards the east. So, but really eventually this area low pressure will start to move in our direction. And that will give us a snowfall coming up tonight through parts of Friday too. It will start to taper off by Friday afternoon. Let's check out future cast. So we have clouds moving, moving through the region today. We'll get some sunshine going this afternoon as well. Keep the sunglasses ready to you may want those from time to time. But then later on tonight, though, especially after midnight, the snow moves in. The heaviest will be across our central and southern counties, especially in southern Wisconsin, uh, pretty much along that Wisconsin-Illinois border. They'll be watching out for some of that decent snowfall there throughout the day on Friday, especially during the morning period. We'll have a few leftover snow showers through Friday afternoon. But by Friday night, it's all out of here. And through Saturday, we're looking pretty good with a nice day that will be on the way. So the current thinking, not much of a change from yesterday, though. Still looking at our around one to three inches of snow in the white before we're all finished up though. Once you reach the blue shaded areas, three to five inches of snow possible. Locally higher amounts cannot be ruled out in a few areas either. So we're pretty much just waiting for this thing to move in, which does occur later on tonight after midnight, lasting through parts of Friday, at least through the afternoon hours. So there's another one on the way on top of this. So let's fast forward to Sunday. By Sunday afternoon, watching for the snow moving in from the southwest to the north and east. You notice the black lines here. These are isobars here that, in that indicates lines of equal pressure, which in other words, means it's going to get windy out there too, which will help to blow that snow around that gets in here Sunday afternoon at the evening time frame. But then by Monday, warmer air also begins to move in. So we'll see a switch over from the snow over to some rainfall. Then once we get, get toward Tuesday, the opposite happens. The rainfall we're seeing will switch over back to snow as some colder air begins to wrap on in. So I'm not too worried about the winds for today. You might get a few gusty winds up in the UP and that's about it. But really once we head towards Friday, especially as we head towards Friday evening, watching out for some gusty winds that can reach up to around 20 miles per hour at times. Temperatures right now, one below now in the Lando Lakes area, two degrees in Eagle River, 11 degrees in Rylander, nine degrees in Merrill, a little bit warmer further down to the south than the teens, if you want to call it warmer. Our average temperature is 41 degrees, pretty consistent in the lower 30s today, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Then we're back to near average, Monday to Tuesday in the lower 40s. Then we cool off again, mid 30s on the way as we head towards your Wednesday. Forecast for today, we have lower 30s under a partly cloudy sky with that west wind getting up to about five miles miles per hour at times. Tonight the snow moves in. It could be heavy at times as well with lows in the lower 20s and southeast breeze getting up to about 5 miles per hour. Northwich furniture and mattress seven day forecast. The snow continues into Friday but starts to back off during the afternoon period. But then by Saturday we're looking pretty good. But just for that day though by Sunday afternoon we're watching for snow moving in again. Especially by Sunday night. Monday the snow switches over to rain. And then by Tuesday the rain switches back to snow before we dry out on Wednesday.